Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D POV, and I'm here to give you another video. Now, today I want to talk about LeBron James, right? And this is all alleged. Allegedly, all right? None of this stuff is actual factual. But, you know, word on the street is that, you know, LeBron James is taking a little enhancement. And you wonder why he's been playing for so long and never real. Well, he just recently started getting injured, but he's definitely been playing a long time. Really hasn't had any like crazy uh, injuries. Well, until later, but you know, word on the street is you know he might be taking some of that, some of that. You know what I mean? Some of that. Yeah, yeah. And I want to play Kwame Brown and salute to Kwame Brown. Make sure if y'all have not. Uh, if y'all not subscribed to Kwame Brown Bus Life on YouTube, make sure y'all go check him out. I want to play some of his hilarious reaction to the alleged reports, allegedly, that, you know what I mean, LeBron James might be on that, uh, you know, he might be uh, on that special enhancement. <laughs> Steroids. Allegedly. Shout out to KB. Yes, yes, yes. I'll be steady. I'll be steady his work for a real long time. And see, a lot of these people, man, first of all, let's, let's get it understood. I'm a former athlete, right? So I don't smoke marijuana uh, just to get high. Sometimes I don't even smoke marijuana. I'm just smoking CBD. And so I'm going to find a better way. I got some CBD gummies now. So I'm going to find a better way than to have to, you know, mess up my lungs. I kind of like smoking, but I don't want to mess up my lungs. But uh, yeah, it has, for, for, for the people who act like there's no uh, healthy benefit to having uh, the proper strands of marijuana, then, then you're just not up on uh, what the new technology says. You can go put those drugs in your body that's prescribed by a doctor, you can do that. But me, I choose to use the CBD. Yeah, and it's my body, my choice. So, yeah, you can't try to tell me what to put in my body. You know, I just try to make sure I'm not a junkie. Like some of these people are junkies. <laughs> you know, I make sure I abstain from alcohol. I make sure, you know, for 30 days out of the year, every year, you know, I make sure I'm going to have to abstain from this marijuana and get the gummies. Because, like I said, health is wealth. I don't want my lungs all jacked up. But uh, for those of you that don't know the benefits of especially all the surgeries, all the injuries that I've had, I will definitely not tell anybody. And I never smoked marijuana when I played basketball because I was against it because it was against anything against my money. I'm against it. And now I'm hearing that people, some people allegedly on EPOs and shit. And they are supposed to be an epidemic in the league of EPOs and, and steroid uses. So you mean to tell me I'm a motherfucking bust because I didn't get on no goddamn EPO? <laughs> shit, why nobody wasn't telling me about EPOs and steroids and shit? <laughs> Man, shit, I'd have been flying everywhere and not getting tired, too. <laughs> I'm not saying nobody else is on it, but I'm just saying. If I had an opportunity to take a motherfucking EFO, UFO, whatever it is, <laughs> that's undertaking more, and I can run hard and recover from injury? That boy that's what they saying. I can do, man, shit. <laughs> you mean to tell me all I had to do was take an EFO or what they say? EPO? <laughs> EPO, EFO? <laughs> I wouldn't have been a fucking boss. Damn, man, why they ain't tell me? Gee. Here I am trying to be goddamn solid and don't even smoke marijuana and shit. Man, that's fucked up, man. <laughs> Damn, ain't nobody tell me about this shit. My goddamn knees hurting and shit. They, they, I wonder what the effects is of EFOs or EPOs right now if I get on some. I wonder if I can go back to the league. Let me take some EFOs and get my, uh, <laughs> my motherfucking shoulder and knee from hurting and shit. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> ain't nobody want to tell me. I'm the only motherfucker out here got to be a butt. Because nobody don't want to tell me about EFOs and shit. <laughs> motherfucker. That's that bullshit. Why don't nigga ain't tell me nothing? Hey, can somebody, whoever got all the EFOs, EPOs, whatever y'all niggas saying, uh, the un undetectable stuff to recover with, can y'all send it to me, please? <laughs> Hell, I'm tired of running on the treadmill. Shit, I be getting tired. So I want to not get tired. Ah, shit, ain't nobody can sue me now if I get on EF EFO or EPO. They can't find me now. I'm finna go get me some shit now. <laughs> HBO. Hell yeah, send me some HBO. E HBO. HBO. Shit, send it to me. HBO. Shit, I'm taking all that shit now. Yeah, that's some bullshit, man. All they had to do was give me some of that shit, too, so I cannot be a bust. That's that bullshit. They want certain people to be busting 
and they're gonna serve people to be all human, superhuman and shit. That's that bullshit. <laughs> I could have took the same shit. That's all I'm saying. Let's level the playing field. Let me get on the UFO too. <laughs> I want some motherfucking UFO too. UFO. I think we should do a redo. Let me get on some of that UFO shit. Fast as I was already. Let me get on some of that UFO. <laughs> shit. Let me recover from all my injuries and shit I used to get. Fuck that. I need some of that UFO shit sitting to me right now. Whoever the UFO man, come on with it. <laughs> The I'm UFO on, man. China, UFO man, come on with it. <laughs> UFO man. But <laughs> <laughs> can't be a Shit. fool, boy. You get the RSO for the weed medical dispensary. I'm just saying. It's that bullshit, man. I'm sitting here trying to do it the right way. I'm thinking, man, they'll catch you with anything you do, man. They'll catch you. But it makes sense, boy. They put that big money behind motherfuckers. And you notice the media always talking about how many games people play. That's a lot of pressure on these superstar players that, despite an injury, your whole likability, your whole salary, and all of that is based around games played. So, man, I, if I had that much pressure that all of that was based around me playing, would I take something that I knew could be illegal, but it would give me the advantage? Um, I don't know. That's a lot of pressure, Jack. Yeah, it is. Definitely is. That's a lot of pressure. Definitely is. You got all you got all these big corporations. They don't want to hear that you hurt. They want to see your ass out there on that coat. Facts. Facts. So could would they come up with a drug that will help somebody last longer and recover? Most people wouldn't even look at that as an advantage, but it really is. If you out here can run longer and work out longer and go harder than I can, then in the fourth quarter you win. I'm dead tired. You still at super speed. Facts. You can train harder in the summer. I'm not saying nobody else did none of this. I'm not accusing nobody of nothing, but I'm just saying. The one thing I do find funny is that the media is not talking about it. You can always tell when the story, how they handle the story. These are two big time people. Chael Sonnen is not no little guy. Excuse me, science is going crazy, man. So we know he knows at least where to get it. <laughs> the one thing we do know, that motherfucker know where to get it from. So I, I suggest LeBron sue his ass if this ain't true. LeBron got to sue. This will be a hellacious uh, claim against LeBron, you know, right around the time that he's retiring. He going to have to sue the hell out of this dude and sue ESPN. He got to sue every motherfucker that even let that shit come out. Yeah. Because do I believe he on it? No. Hell no. I'm not going to say that. I can't prove that. I'm not going to say that. Allegedly. Hell to the no. I'm yeah. staying far away from that. <laughs> but I do wish he'd sue the hell out of him so at least we can know. Yeah. Better stay away from that boy. Yeah, I, I wish he sues the fuck out of him because that's a stain that that demolished uh, a lot of people's reputation. Yeah, when all that came out, that that destroyed people's great name and it, it destroys legacy. So he can't let this stand. He gonna have to sue the hell out of that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. He talking about yeah, you do, nigga. No hell, I don't. Uh -uh. <laughs> hell no. We don't know what's going on. We don't know. Me in that shit. Uh, yeah, boy, you better stay out of it, boy. Fuck what I think. <laughs> it's about what he better do. He need to sue the fuck out them people because Facts. if he don't, then everybody's gonna wonder why the hell he didn't sue. Him. That part. That part. I'm just wondering why more news outlets are not talking about it. That that is a that is a big story. I mean, he just said this shit on right off his tongue, like boom, we got the same guy. I'm like, oh shit. I was just waiting. I thought I was gonna see blockbuster LeBron James is suing Chell Sonnen for $200 million, mm -hmm. ESPN for $500 million. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking the lawsuits was coming, boy. Nothing. I thought the lawsuits was coming. So, I don't know. I'm staying out of it because I would never want to tarnish a man's name, especially when you don't have no proof of that, and I don't have no proof of that. So, Back. ain't no way in the hell I'm gonna accuse somebody with that great uh, accolades that he's accumulated over his 20 year career. I'm gonna never want to insinuate that somebody's doing a drug that I don't know what they're doing. Which is smart. Very smart. <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, but I know y'all saying it's hard to do and it turn out to be true. It don't matter. Really. Not, I gotta let the chips fall over Like I see, cause there's so much legacy on the line. I was just waiting to see the lawsuits roll out. 
because that is a that is something you don't want to have out there about you, and that yeah. is not something that you're supposed to claim for people of the man that you build upon. So when you claim something like that, normally uh, people with a brand that large, you know, does something come about it. You with everything they got, exactly. Their image and their their brand is is their namesake. It's everything. All right, man, I'm going to go ahead and end it right there, man. If y'all want to see the full live stream, make sure y'all go check check out a Bus Life uh, Kwame Brown and his backup channel 2.0 because on 2.0, he be going off. So y'all leave a comment down below, man. How do you feel about how LeBron James should handle this alleged steroids usage? Something like this, you know, that's, that's going to be a tarnish on your name. And it's... I'm surprised LeBron James hasn't sued yet. Maybe he hasn't sued because I don't know. It's just very interesting how how he hasn't done anything yet. How he hasn't, you know what I mean? Because normally if somebody comes out and alleges something like that, they be trying to you know put that uh, put that news under a wrap real fast. But it seems like he's allowing this to be you know said so this is very interesting but anyway man just want to give uh, my quick uh thoughts and opinions shout out to kb man keep doing your thing and y'all leave a comment down below man do you think lebron james is on that is on that stuff i don't know y'all leave a comment down below i'm out peace